Hello and welcome to the Ask Steve B Show, episode five. I'm your host, Steve Burnett, author, speaker, marketing consultant. Mike from Vancouver asks, how do you pre-qualify leads? First, let's categorize the leads. We have A, B, C, and D. Now in A lead, this is somebody who is going to fully value your service and be great to work for. A B lead, is also great to work for, but they need us a little discount. These guys will keep you in the black if you choose to serve them. Now a C, a C lead, they might be nice, but they want a 10 to 20% discount, and that's not practical or feasible if you're trying to grow your business. And a D lead, they're unreasonable all the way around. There's nothing you can do to make them happy. So we're gonna talk about how to pre-qualify so that you can only get A and B leads so that you can double your business. Step one, your voicemail greeting. Your voicemail greeting is a fun way to kind of gauge if they're gonna be great to work for or not. So with Burnett Painting, what I had said was, when they called the office and we were in it, they called after hours, the greeting would say, it's a great day at Burnett Painting. Please leave your name, number, and your favorite color. That was it, right? One, it's different. It's different from any other company that they're gonna call. And it's gonna be memorable, right? Remarkable, so it's gonna stand out. But what it did was, not only was it fun and different, but I asked that question about their favorite color at the end. Well, one I told them was a great day, so we were fun to work with. But I asked the color at the end, the question at the end about the color. And I said, and your favorite color. So if they would, at the end of their message that they left, if they told me green, they'd usually laugh or whatever, and if they did, then I knew that they were potentially an A or B customer, right? If they didn't, it didn't necessarily mean that they were C or D, but if they did, there's a good chance that they were A and B and be fun to work with. So your voicemail, greeting. Okay. Now, step three is you're gonna to wanna to ask them when they call and you speak with them, is this their main residence or is this a rental? For us, our niche were main residences, okay? And repaints and residential market. We weren't into commercial, we weren't into new construction, we weren't into industrial, we weren't into high rises. We were into single residential repaint homes. So we would ask, is this your main residence or is this a rental? Now, if this was a rental, we would try to find a way to refer them to another painting company. We give them two painting companies to refer them to. So if it was a rental, then there's a good chance that they were going to be a C, right? So we want to know if it's just their main residence or rental. And if it was their main residence, they were in a, potentially an A or B, or if it was a rental, they were a C or D. And if they're a C or D, Man, you wanna refer them away, right? So have two other painting companies you can refer them away to and just say, well, we don't really serve that niche, but we do have a couple of companies who could better serve your need. Can I give you their names and numbers now? And they would be grateful for the referral and you send them away in good taste. Step four, Zillow. While you're on the phone with them, pull this uh, address up on Zillow. You've asked for their address, you've asked for their information, pull it up on Zillow and make sure that they're a qualified lead for you. Now, this is Zillow. For us, we were looking for homes that were about 250K and up. So as you're speaking with them, if they've done all this awesome stuff and they've come through and so far the filter, they're looking, sounding like they're gonna be A or B customer, but you pull up their address on there and, and you find that their home's only, you know, about 90,000 and you see the neighborhood that they're in, it's not really one of your target markets. Well, then at that point, you, you know, might want to refer them away to one of those two other companies that you have as well. Now, they'll appreciate that as well. Now, step two, and this is the most important step, source. Source, source, source. How did they hear about you? Where did the lead come from? Okay. Now, if it was a repeat customer for an A or B, man, that's awesome. Because you definitely want to keep involved in their network, right? Because, what is it, uh, eagles of a feather, birds of a feather flock together. 
Well, the downside of that is it's also true if it came from a C or D customer because sometimes these guys slip in. They look like A's and B's, but you go to serve them and no matter what you do, they're, they're not reasonable uh, against all your efforts. So if the source said, oh yeah, uh, what's his name referred me to you, and if that was a D customer, you don't want to serve them. You don't want to serve their friends. You don't want to get caught in their network of unreasonable people because unreasonable people associate with unreasonable people, right? Awesome people associate with awesome people. So if they're in your unreasonable uh, network, then you want to refer them away too. But if the source was, say, a rotary lead or maybe if somebody came through your website and you've got uh, an awesome website that helps you to convert the leads, then, then that's awesome. And Or if it came from an A customer, then man, that's awesome. And you definitely want to go and serve them. So if you follow these steps, leave a unique voicemail greeting asking a fun question at the end, source, 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 source. Make sure you find out where the lead came from and then track that too as you move forward. So then you know where your marketing efforts are best served. And then three, you know, is this their main residence or is this a rental? For Zillow, check out their home real quick, check out the value and the neighborhood that it's in and make sure that it's your target neighborhood and, and the target value for it. And also, you know, have a couple of painters on standby that you can refer and send these leads to because there are painting companies out there who serve C and D's all day and they're happy to do it. So if you follow these steps, you too can double your business without making a sale. Now it's your turn. Send in your questions to steve at burnettmarketing.com. And until then, this is episode five of the Ask Steve B Show. Thank you. Have an awesome day.